G'day okay, everyone, uh, my name's uh, The Game Nerd. Um, yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon here local time and I'm just sitting at home by myself, chilling, uh, about to go through um, Upland, uh, a little trawling for some uh, properties and I thought to myself, you know, I might make a video on what I, the processes I actually go through, um, looking for properties to buy, to flip, to buy and sell. Um, yeah, so if you aren't aware or you're not tracking, uh, Upland is um, at its core a real estate trading game. Uh, you buy and sell properties, uh, you, they release cities periodically, uh, you can mint properties in these cities um, and then buy and resell them. Uh, looking to make either in-game money, which is UPEX, UPX, UPEX, uh, or once you are uh, have a verified account, you can sell them for US dollars, USD. Um, yeah, not going to go too much into detail if you're not aware of what Upland is. I'm going to assume you do. Uh, I'm going to assume you're looking for another perspective of how people use it and how people buy and sell on it. So for me, um, every couple of days, um, I could be sitting there watching watching the football on TV, uh, watching uh, the news, watching a sitcom on, on, on telly, you know, just, just, just chilling out by myself. I'll, I'll pick up my laptop and um, these, are, these are the processes I go through when I'm looking for uh, properties to buy and sell. Uh, to flip, looking looking to make a profit, looking to make a, you know, a, a UPX, UPEX, looking to make some profit. Um, yeah, so uh, if you're not aware already, um, upxland.me. Uh, it's for upxland.me. Yeah. Now, this site is not um, directly affiliated with Upland. But it is a database uh, for of upland properties and, um, and data. Yeah, so upxland.com. This is what I use, and this is what a lot, what a lot of people. I'm assuming most people are using this. Yeah? Um, if you're not aware of this and you haven't used it before, get on it because this is what everyone's using to um, to make money in upland. Uh, so when your landing page, obviously, yeah, you're coming to this page, your biggest land. Uh, so if you want to go searching for properties, click over here, property search. Yeah, uh, it comes up with this page. Uh, from here, we can search um, via city. Yeah, it's got all the cities that are available in Upland alphabetically um, arranged. Uh, U.S. cities first, and then obviously Europe and South America. So that's it. You see, you can search by status, so for sale by UPX or UPEX. I call it UPX. I know it's supposed to be UPEX. X1 the gamer calls it UPEX, but I'm UPX. Yeah. Um, for sale by USD, unminted properties, so properties that haven't been minted yet, and just, yeah, for sale in general. Yeah, there's a couple of different ways to search by. You can search non FSA or FSA properties. Uh, you want to sort, you can sort it, by whatever, you know, um, size of the land, the yield, markup, yeah, it's all got it there, it's all got it there. So for me, when I come into this page, uh, I'm always going to start at the top, Arlington, work my way down, Your status, you want to go for sale by UPEX or UPX, and I want to sort by sale price. Yeah, before we start as well, down here. These are all the, the the filter options or the, the the categories that are going to be displayed. Obviously, the address, the city, the neighbourhood, blah, blah blah, all the way along. By default, some of those might not be on because I've been using this for a long time. And once I um, select them, um, they're going to be there forever. And I've deleted the two for this particular this video that I I add. So um, if you're coming in for the first time, I always add. Click over here on the drop-down box. 
uh, where is it? I want date listed, and I'll explain why later. Date listed and last price. Yeah. And that'll be it, and allowed it there. So it's added the date listed and last price, and now Arlington for sale by Upex, sort by sale price, ascending. Search. Okay, so when you first come here, if it's your first search and your first time you've used it, I have a lot. As you can see, you will not have this many if it's your first time because default, if you scroll right to the bottom, default will be something like 10 or 25. I always scroll that out. I mean, I've scrolled it out to the max of 2,000. You probably don't need that many, 200, whatever. But if, you, if you're only getting 10 properties, it's probably not enough to make a good judgment call. So I would roll that out a little bit more. Okay, so now we've got Arlington for sale by Upex sale price. And these are all the properties that are currently available or for sale in Arlington. Yeah. And it's got the actual sale price. You can see the last price they bought it for and the mint price that it was. Yeah, date listed. Now, the reason why I put in date listed, originally, for a long time, I wasn't using this. When uh, when users get sent to um, Alcatraz, right? Alcatraz is obviously the prison for players that have breached... Um, terms of service or user agreement, whatever you want to call it. Um, they've broken the rules of the game and they've been sent to Alcatraz, which is obviously the prison, because they've, they've broken the rules. If they had a property listed for sale when they went to Alcatraz, it'll stay listed on this website. Yeah? So you can see here this guy, new 01H, new with, I don't know what to call him. Uh, 290 days ago, 292 days ago, it was listed. I know for a fact, because I've searched this property many times before I started putting in date listed, that this guy is in um, prison. Okay? Um, so, you know, you kind of know if it's over if it's over 100 days, 200 days. If it's over 200 days, the guy's going to be, the person's going to be in prison. The user's going to be in prison. Uh, and we could take, if you click on the actual address, up in the top left here, you can see it's copied automatically. So, you don't have to copy and paste. On this website, you just click on the um, the address and it'll copy it for you. Now, another tab that'll have open, obviously, is Upland. And here's my Upland account. Now, if I go search and I control V and this address, yep, yeah, paste, and I click on the search the address, it'll take me to it. And 98.5. 6% sure this person's going to be in jail. So this is the property here. It'll zoom straight in on it. Very rarely, if the address or the, is a little bit weird, it won't be centralised right on the property. Won't be right in thing. You've got to like move move the map around a little bit to try and find it. But this one's obviously centralised, and I'm going to click on it. And yeah, this guy's in jail, and I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. So. Only reason I'm showing that is don't waste your time on 300 days plus. Yeah, 200, anything over 200, especially if it's at the top, because we've ordered this by sale price. So these are the cheapest properties to the most expensive. So these are the cheapest properties. This is what all the properties that people are looking for, really. Well, are they? I mean, I'm sure there's some um, BDP, big dick players, that are spending a lot of money and looking for bigger properties to flip with bigger profit margins, but for me, I'm looking at the lower end of the scale. I'm looking for many properties to flip many, you know, many times to, to make small, small, small gains many times. And yeah, so there we go. So what I'm actually, okay, that's a breakdown of how this all works. What I am looking for is properties that I can sell that are mint price is Yeah, what I say? That, I can't, that that's going to be appealing to re flip really quickly. So you want 
high mint prices, higher than everything else that's here. So I'm looking at this, okay, we know this Bobkins, okay, well, he's listed this today. Okay, cool. This is a great example. Um, he's listed today. You can see the last price was $8. So I'm going to assume he's bought that for $8 UPX, uh, $8 USD, right? And you can go over here, if you scroll to the left, so or the right, whichever way you want to, these, little, these arrows will show you the transactions. So you click on that, and it'll show you um, all the buying and selling transactions that have happened on this property. So you can see here, right? it was minted for 12,000 by Hillier, was bought for 35 UPA, 35,000 UPEX. Um, and it's got the date and everything there, and then Bobkins has come along and bought that for $8, right? $8 US. And which is, yeah. Uh, and now he's bought it for $8, $8 US, and now he's looking to sell it for 15,000 UPEX, which one for one, if you buy it straight off um, the Upland website, you're looking at one for one dollar, so that'd be like $15. Okay, I can see what he's trying to do there. So for me, what I'm looking at is can I then, on top of that, make a UPEX profit? So he's 12,000. I'm looking down the line here. I know all these guys here because they're 300, 290 days plus. We don't have to look at all those because oh, I've already done it. But if you want to even go for it, I know all these people are in jail. So those properties, you can't actually buy them. So I'm looking down here. Now I'm looking down here. Oh, look at this. 11.6, okay, that's pretty close. Oh, <laughs> that's actually me. All right, cool. So that's one I've bought previously, and now I'm looking to sell it. So you can see here I've bought that for 15,000 UPEX, uh, and I'm trying to sell it for just under 17,000 UPEX. Now, the next part, I always have the calculator open. Right. When you buy a property, you... Um, pay 5% UPEX fee to Upland when you buy it and when you sell it. So when I buy a property, I, yeah, I whim charge 5% and then they also charge the person that's selling it 5%. So 10%. So if you buy a property for, say, 10,000 UPEX, you're charged a 5% fee. Then if you go to resell it, you're also charged whatever you sell it for 5%. So for me, even though the two aren't exactly digitally the same, I when I resell something, I want to make sure I'm making at least 10% on what I 10% of what I'm selling it for will still cover what I bought it for. All right? So that's overcompensating, but it it's it's a lot less it, it's one less calculation I have to make rather than making two calculations what I, the percentage of what I bought it for the percentage of what I'm selling for and then adding them together I just say okay 10% of what I'm selling for is that going to cover what I actually bought it for yep cool boom sell it yeah so for this example because I've come across myself uh, 17,000 so 17 let's just say 17,000 times 0.1 yeah, it's 1,700 yeah so if you take 17,000 minus one thousand seven hundred is fifteen three. Fifteen three. And I bought it for last price column. I bought it for fifteen thousand upix. So I'm actually making three hundred upix on the flip of that property. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Okay. So let's just say, for example, if I want it seventeen thousand. So you're looking at going back to this property, Bobkins that we were looking at. Twelve six was the mint price. He's selling at fifteen. So if I this one here, I've already bought it at 15, I'm selling it at 17, but it was 11.6 mint. Mm -hmm. And the next one down, we're going to have to scroll a long way down here, 18, sell of 18 for 12. Yeah, so this person's selling at 18,000 UPEX, and its mint price was 12.6 UPEX. So I'm looking at this going, Bokkins, I could, yeah, the reason he's selling it so cheap is he's only bought it for 8 USD, which is equivalent of 8,000 UPEX. So he's, he's still making a profit by selling it for 15. So he's looking for a quick flip himself. But I could also now buy that property and then resell it for, uh, where were we here? 
probably 17,000 up picks, I'm going to make 300 up picks, which isn't a lot, but that's what I'm looking for. They're the sort of the sort of properties. Uh, and a secondary reason, you know, I'm I'm going to buy that property and then resell it. It's a great example for the first out. Um, collections, you know, I'm also in the back of my mind. I'm also tracking collections, uh, whether it be new collections or completed collections. As I buy and sell properties, property is going to drop in and out of of um, of collections. So say I have three properties in Fresno is the Fresno basic collection, uh, the Fresno city, whatever it is. Um, say I have three and I resell one, I'm always, that two is going to drop off. So if I'm looking later on doing this process that I'm going through with you now, um, when I see a property in Fresno, in the back of my mind, I'll go, hey, I, I might only make 100 UPEX on the flip of it, but I'm also going to recomplete a Fresno collection that I had previously sold off, but I'm now with that extra property I get back again, it's going to complete that collection, which is going to increase the um, the yield of all those properties. So that, that that's that's something I don't actually physically calculate, but in my mind I'm like, okay, that's 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 a that's a plus as well. Uh, who are we looking for? Arlington wasn't it? Yeah. So we look at these. So I'll go back to Arlington. Yeah. Um, pretty nice Fact, I'm pretty sure I've only got one Arlington property going on. Okay, no, 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 oh, Marlowe, what are you part of? I'm spasming this. Ah, he's in the east. Ah, uh, it's actually worth more. That's right. Yeah, so I've only got one actually property in Arlington at the moment. Um, so I know, yep, that will help. So I am going to find it. Bobkins, here you are. So 15, I'm going to click on this guy and go to my tab with my uh, planned opened, copy and paste, and then you go straight there. Mm -hmm. And Bobkins, there it is. And I'm going to buy him. And looking to resell for sixteen triple nine. Cool. Now I'm just going to wait for it to uh, be securing. Yeah. Okay. So we're just waiting for that property to um, to be secured. Um, yeah, so that's, 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 that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for properties that I can buy, that they're mint price, and what they're selling them for, I could resell that, you know, for, and make a, a, a small amount of profit. And the reason, there's probably three main reasons why re, people are selling properties in the zone that I want to buy them for, that I could also make profit, pro, profit. So they're even going to be new users who are selling FSA properties. Um, that's something that I've, I've you know, encountered a lot, that um, they uh, don't understand the market. They feel that they have to undercut to try and undercut a big time to try and sell. They don't because it's be either their first, um, first few sales. They've minted a place, let's say, for example, 5,000 5, UPEX, and they think, they're not even aware of this website or this tool to be able to see what the, the ballpark or the market currently is. Okay, they've bought it for 5,000 UPEX and they're looking, they want to sell it quickly. They think, okay, 6,000 UPEX, for example. Okay, 6,000 or 7,000 UPEX, let's sell it for that. Um, that makes them 2,000 UPEX. So yeah, they're making a profit, but they might not be aware that the market price for what they, for the mint price of the property they have is actually 10,000 UPEX. So there, I can swoop in, buy it off them for seven or eight thousand upix. They've made a small profit. I could then flip it, sell it for ten thousand upix minus my ten percent that I calculate as being my fees. So I could sell it for ten thousand upix and actually make nine thousand upix when I bought it for eight thousand upix. I've made it a thousand. Yeah. So that's that's one reason. Um, new new players that are selling FSA properties. Um, exactly. 
the example of what I've just done here. So this person here has bought this for eight USD. So the person that the, the, the minted it has then flipped it and sold it for US dollars, eight, eight US dollars. Bobkins has then bought it for eight US dollars and said, you know what, I can just, he spent eight dollars, yeah, whatever that money has come from, he might have had it in game already or he's used his, his, his wallet. Um, and then he's gonna sell it for 15,000 upex in the end, that's an increase of seven thousand on his account, which is 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 good. It's good for him, um, and he's and, and super quick. You know what I mean, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to worry. That that, that happens a lot. People will buy it um, under under mint value by USD, which is perfectly fine. Ballpark ballpark, I would say fifty percent is average. So if you're buying, say, okay, a twelve thousand dollar property. You might a twelve thousand upex property. Six USD is about average. I would say what you want to pay for it. If you're getting under fifty percent, if you're getting forties, thirties, if you're getting under thirty, you're getting a bargain. Okay. Um, in the thirties, it, it's pretty good. Forties, fifties, you know, is 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 about average. If you're over fifty percent for a non. Um, collection property, non-collection property, basic property, if you're spending over 50% when you're buying USD, you're probably, you're overreaching, I would think. So this person has bought it for eight, they're selling it for 15,000 apex, I've bought it, and I'm going to flip it for a profit. So, uh, go back to my thing here, let's have a look, see, it's gonna go blue, thank you. And yeah, I've bought 15, and now I'm just going to simply relist it for Apex. Oh, you know, if I can CP cash to get you. Uh, what did I say? I don't know. I bought 15, so I want to get 16. Oh, not that much. Yeah. No, tokenized my thing. Okay. And uh, yeah, then I'll now sit there. If I had no Arlington property, I'd complete the collection. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, also, so go back up to the top, you can change the drop down box. I also play with USD, US dollars direct. Once it's finished its search, all right, it'll bring up um, ordered obviously by sale price for USD starting at $6.70 for a $10,000 property. It gives you the markup percentage here. Um, pretty much basically with the USD, USD will automatically cut out all um, uh, Alcatraz or prisons people, so properties that you can't buy are gone. So, I'm pretty much I'm looking for the down the column the mint price and something that's that's abnormally lower than obviously the, the gradual step ups of the price. Uh, I'm looking at that there. Of a whole, I can't really see anything that I'm going to make a profit on. Looking at this, maybe this one here from Crappy. <laughs> you listed today at 43%, 16,000 upix at $7.20. That's, uh, that's under 50%. That's not a bad bargain. But I'm looking down. You know, that's, that's actually, it's, look, it's pretty good. But I'm being a little bit scared off. Especially with the USD, I use the USD purchases kind of differently. I'm not, I'm not just looking for small gains with USD because it is such an outlay. Like that's six dollars eighty. I have to outlay, even if I was to sell it for let's say eight dollars. And down here, seven dollars ninety nine, seven dollars ninety nine, seven dollars ninety seven. Right, would probably where I would pitch it if I was going to sell it. Um, just to still keep it, still. Capitalize on this what's obviously a bargain, but flip it quick enough that I don't have to sit on it for ages I'm looking at that now just a brief look. I'm going to sell for eight dollars right? So eight dollars with my ten percent. So that's eighty percent fee So I'm making seven dollars twenty and automatically they're like I'm buying it for seven dollars twenty even though I'm overcompensating with my ten percent so anything further I'm gonna to have to go right? If you want to get eight dollars thirty, you know Nine dollars, like that sixteen thousand upix, okay, yeah, is 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 still under all of those, but 
it's also a seven dollar outlay for even if I sold it for nine dollars with my ninety percent, that's eight dollars twenty. I'm looking at making a dollar for a seven dollars twenty outlay, and I'm just like, it's it's actually not worth it. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, right, cool. So that's Arlington. All right, and next one, and we just keep scrolling through. I'll go back to Apex and back to, okay. So I've, I've raveled it on a little bit, but I'm just gonna now just churn through the, through the cities. Um, what I also have open, uh, which I haven't had to use yet, but the second window. So if you go to use, back in where we went to property search, where we are now, if you go to user search, right? User search. Um, and now you don't actually have to log in to use this either. So, um, I've, these are all the previous searches that I've had. Uh, myself, the game now. Thing I do. Okay, it brings up your own profile. Now I also have that as I'm scrolling through the cities. Um, I'm also looking to improve what I've also got as my base for some of uh, the collections that I'm, you know, in the cities that I, I that I'm holding. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding. I'm not selling everything. I'm just, I'm flipping, but I'm also holding, um, obviously for the for, for the year. So the, the good thing about this when you go into pro, I'm not logged in. You don't have to create a, an account. You can just. This is all free. This is my account. So this is all my cities that I've got. Yeah. Um, you can also have uh, transactions. You need a. Um, you do need to uh, have an account and a plan. You know, you pay per month to see. Your individual transactions. I'll show you another website later um, where you don't actually need need to pay to use to see the exact same thing. Uh, anyway, what am I doing? So let's go back. Let's go back. What's going on? Why is things on? Uh, I'm rambling a little bit. Uh, progress chart. Always things are pretty cool. Just shows you, you know, mid net worth, property net worth. I always like to look at that because I just like numbers and stats and graphs and stuff. But the main reason I'm here is these are all my properties, currently held properties, how much do I have them for sale, what I bought them for. It's all exactly the same columns you had before, last price. Um, yeah, it's got everything. Yeah, your, your cities. So I say I wanted to um, see what I've already got in Arlington. Right, I'm going to search Arlington. And it now does show the new one because I've only just loaded the page and that um, Biggs Terrace that I just bought and listed. It also shows Marlowe that I had before. So I now have two properties. It also shows how long ago I listed those for sale. So when we go to the next property, Bakersfield, which I've already opened, um, and I know for sure this one, this Myers Ranch, has been appearing forever. Folio 3232. You are a folio. Just, I don't know what you have to do to get a jail, but do it. Just get off the fucking radar, I mean. All right, so doing exactly the same thing in game. Majority of the times when I do this, you see nothing that's worth that's worth purchasing. So I'm looking down the line here. I know that this guy's not um, not available anyway. So we get two five two three two seven three two rings a bell. 3-2 down here for 9-2, that's 500 days, so he's probably in jail, 2-3, there's listed today, 2-3, there's a 2-7 and also listed today by this guy, 8-8, so that's not too bad, oh, there's a 3-2, also listed by the same person, yeah, so you see what I'm doing, a 3-2, and I'm looking down here, this was also listed 230 days ago, so I'm going to assume he's in jail, 3-30 days ago, maybe not, 8-8, I'm not making anything here. So there's, there's, there's nothing there really to make. Um, but I'll also oh, have a look at okay. uh, I'll look at Bakersfield. Uh, so I've got three properties in the Oaks and one random other property that I've obviously bought to flip. Yeah. So I've got the Oaks covered. I've got one surface. Yeah. If, I was, if there was two properties here worthwhile buying, um, to reflip for a small amount, a calculation in my mind would be also I'm completing a Bakersfield, you know, Baker, Bakersfield basic um, 
collection. So, yeah, so it might be what it is. Even if I was making it less than 100 Upex, I'm still cleaning it completely the collection. So that might not be why. Well. But look, I'm looking at that going, that ah, ah, there's nothing there. Man. There's nothing there. So I'd also have a quick check of the USD. Mm. Now, USD sales, if you uh, haven't got to that level yet, the maximum you can have for sale for US dollars, properties for US dollars is 20 at a time, 20 at a time. Um, so when I first started, I was like, wow, this is great. Yeah, buy, resell. And I was looking to make you know, small amounts, 20 cents, 30 cents per property. Thinking, yeah, cool, I'm making a little bit. And some of it, but then I reached my 20 for sale and realized, oh, okay, so it's not endless. So up until 20, yeah, you've kind of got free run, but once you're getting close to that 20, you want to be getting maximum profit for um, for that slot. Because if you've got a, you've got a property, you've got, say you've got, your, your, your 20 properties for sale, you sell one, you've got that 19, you know, 19 properties for sale, you've got that 20 slot free. Do you want to list a property that you're going to make 10 cents on, or do you want to make, list a property that you're going to make $1.20 on? Yeah, so that's what you're going to be looking at. And once you reach enough properties um, to be able to sell, you know what I mean? You just list, as soon as one sells, you're listing another, you're listing another. Every property that you want to be buying for USD that you want to later resell, you want to make sure that you're capitalizing on that. Oh, for me, my minimum is is probably thirty cents, thirty cents profit, um, and even then, I'd be wanting that to be either completing a collection while I'm holding it, waiting for it to sell, or waiting for it to list. Um, yeah, you want yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. Thinking. Uh, yeah, so these are all the properties that are for sale. So here you go. You see the floor price, three dollars twenty-five is the the cheapest here. Uh, last price, this dude bought it for seven ninety-nine, which is fine. Uh, and it's been priced four three. So that, that, that that's that's what I'm looking at basically. I'm looking at the percentage here. I think it's seventy-four percent, ninety there. That's all pretty new in, pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, four or three. You gotta look at it. There's a four four down here, four dollars. Right? So even if I was to buy that, and then I'd have to be cheaper than this guy, four dollars. And at four dollars, my basic overestimate of ten percent, you'd have to take forty percent off, three dollars sixty. I'm gonna make it forty fifty cents. Really, it's not that. You know what I mean? It's just a Basic property. I'm not going to hold it because I've already got me. I've already got 20 properties. Um, okay, so if you go back to your profile on UPX land, UPX land, um, get rid of Bakersfield there. So it takes a little while to load. There we go. And if you click on currency here, uh, orders are by currency. So these are all the properties obviously that I've got for sale for UPX. Yeah. And then it fills it by sales USD. So I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. So I've already got 20 properties for sale. And I knew that already because I have some properties that I'm waiting on um, that have on my wait list to sell. So I'm not going to go into that, just to, to try and flip it for, for 40 cents, even though it's probably doable. You could probably do that, but yeah, would it, would it, yeah, I, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. Okay, so that's Bakersfield. Yeah. So we just move on, and uh, let's keep doing that. Exactly the same process for each city. So now we go to the Bronx. So as I go through as well, I'm also looking at my profile. What have I got for sale in the Bronx? Now I've got a lot of Frog's Neck. Frog's Neck? Is that how you say it? Who knows? All right. I've got four Frog's Neck properties. Yeah, everything I've got for sale in the Bronx. So I'm pretty sure it's only three makes a collection. So I must be using three of those for the Frog's Neck and then three for the other Bronx. And everything is for sale. Some of those have already done. I think about 29, last, late last night, I was up. 
doing exactly this. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for, exactly the same thing again. I'm looking for the mint price. What's the standout? So there straight away, 5,000. Then we're gonna let Salty Coyote person has popped up quite a bit lately. Okay. So then you can see my name here today. I listed this not that long ago. I bought this for 10,000 Upix. I'm listing it for 1149 Upix. Yeah. And it's 6.4, so it's cheaper than all the rest. At the time, I snabbled it up to 10,000, but I, I can make a little bit on it and still be under the next person. Yeah, and there's nothing else has obviously appeared that is going to offer me the same. So I'm going to go check out the USD now. Uh, and USD, same, same deal again, except I'm probably even looking for more, more of a bargain with USD because I'm, I'm outlaying direct cash here. Uh, so I want I want a bit of a bit of a return. So if you have a look here, this person today, Easy Q has listed this this at four dollars forty. So he's bought this. This is the flip of what I was saying. Um, we've uh, bought bought for USD selling for Upex. And say bought that example. They bought it for eight USD. They're selling it for fifteen thousand Upex. This is the opposite. This person has gone and bought this property for 11,421 upix, and now they're going to try to sell it for four dollars US, four dollars forty nine US. Um, so I'm looking at this going four four. Yeah, I can make. Yeah, there's four dollars forty nine, but here's four seven for five dollars, and it's a frog's neck, so it's a fucking um, collection property as well. So, like, yeah, that's not actually worth it. Uh, mm, nothing there is really jumping out at me. You know what I mean? Like seven thousand. But once you start getting up into too high the price, I'm always working in this area here. Once you start getting down here, it starts getting very wishy washy. You know, prices start jumping up and down, jumping up and down. You're really looking for those shooters, those 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 ones that are really stand out. Mm, that's that's where you're gonna make money. So Bronx at the moment. Right this second, no. Brooklyn, change it back to UPX or UPX. And I'll change over here to Brooklyn. This is my account. Takes a little while to load. There you go, Brooklyn. All right. So this is me. Yeah. Uh, Right, so this is Brooklyn. It's also Cleveland because I got a lot of properties in all Brooklyn. But this is the Brooklyn I'm really looking for down here. Yeah. So, uh, so these are the three that I have. I know for a fact that I've got in main Brooklyn. Yeah, and I bought them at a hefty price, so I've kind of locked them in. This one here I've actually traded for because it had a three hundred fifty four thousand dollar value. So I've swapped for it yeah, and wanted to look to add that to my add that value to my property. Don't know why the last sale price was that much. I'm not gonna ask questions. I just he took the flip, so no uh, the trade, that's all I care about. Yeah, so now we're back in Brooklyn and this is I'm doing the exact same thing again. So I'm looking here, this guy here, Ocean F, Midwood, uh Knit Knittinger, Knittinger. Um telling you that I know for a fact that person is in jail and that property is not available. So 28 is not the pro the purchase price. Uh, yeah, it's not available for, to buy. Um, how look we look at Brooklyn? Like just over a thousand for six and a half. Uh, for twelve and a half, twelve hundred for six and a half. You know, this is this not seven? So I mean, let's just say for example, so I bought this for six five and I don't want to sell it for seven. I've got to try and uncut this guy. He's made price plus my 10% fee, yeah, it's just not going to happen. So, isn't, quick book there, Brooklyn, nothing happening. Hmm? That's what I do. I just, I'm chilling, I'm watching the football, you know, hanging out on a Sunday afternoon and I'm just scrolling through this. And Brooklyn has hit base at $3. Right. So if you're not aware, the minimum you can sell uh, properties for is $3. Once an area hits that, 
and has a lot of, and we're about to see it, Chicago. Um, once a lot of properties hit the base, so there's more people, there's a lot of people selling, and they're all hitting, they're all selling it for the, the minimum price. It becomes a bit of a soup, a bit of a cluster, and you kind of want to stay away from that. So buying for US, buying to flip, buying in USD to flip in Chicago, Detroit, Rio de Janeiro, and getting there, Queens. Yeah, they're the four suburbs that to buy in USD uh, is, is dangerous. You want to be doing it for a reason uh, other than flipping. That's that's uh, that's me. That's what I think. Uh, Chicago. So here we go. So they, all you can see here today, date listed. All these people listed these today. Yeah, and the one for yesterday. And there's a couple. Of, there's this this dude here, Roberto three. I don't know for a fact he's in jail. Four hundred sixty days ago he listed that. Okay, so it was listed, and then he's obviously gone to Alcatraz for whatever reason. So that's not actually available. Okay, uh, but mint price. Uh, looking at four three, looking at four five, looking at five four, looking at five four for sale price of five eight. So that's actually not too bad. It's one hundred and nine percent markup at the moment. So five four. Yeah, I'm looking down the line here. Five four. I'm looking down the line. Five four. There's a five four here for six. Five four for six. So yeah, five four for five eight. That's only one hundred and twenty upex more. Is the next. So you're not. You're not going to make any profit by buying that. There's actually nothing there in Chicago worth buying. Okay, so if we go back to my account, all right, the only reason I'm doing this now is not to just ramble and, but I want to show you as well. Then these are just basic. So that when you're looking at this main thing, right, this is just every property, right, and show you here what the collections are. Most of them are the Chicago one because they're all just basic collections. Over here in this drop down box, if you select that and and then select all, that'll be every collection. So any collection property, but it'll also include Chicago, which is every property. So if you want to see every property that's above Chicago, so every other collection that's on a basic Chicago, you go into there, you've got West Town, you've got South Shore, Logan, Chicago. So if you unclick that, right, that's going to show you everything else. So it'll show you West Town, South Shore, Logan specifically without it being Chicago. Yep. Now I'm looking at my Chicago properties. I've got these three here on my basic Chicago's. Then I've got three in Logan Square. And I've also got three that I bought. I don't know why I bought those. I was in a rush of blood. I thought I could make it flip a little bit of property. I'm using these as my traders now. I try to trade these. I'll drop them off a bit. Um, okay. So now what we've done is we've Chicago as an example. So now I'm looking for every other collection property. So it's what I was looking at before was all properties in Chicago. And you want to take that as into consideration what I was looking for with the, the, the basics up here. Now I'm looking at collection properties. So they're the next phase again. So the prices will be a little bit different, but the principles are exactly the same. You're looking for something that's going to stand out as cheaper. Um, you can make a little bit of a flip on and also potentially complete a collection. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's a bonus. Uh, so I'm looking at this going, okay, this is 13, these top three. Let's have a look at this top three from Smith2VR. Obviously, 4,500, that I'm assuming that's going to be $4.50 USD, which is equivalent to 4,500 UPEX. And we can see if we look over here at the transactions, we can see the last time Smith to VR, how much he purchased that property for. And there it is, $4.50 US. Yeah. So Ben 68 minted it. Schedule has then bought it for 317 and then Smithy has bought it for $4.50 off schedule. So schedule's made, in my head, if I take the 10%, it's made just over five. It's made about 83 plus five, 80, 88 cents. Going by my calculations. 
which isn't bad. I'd take that. It's about 50% more than my 30. <laughs> um, yeah, so looking at that, these three are Logan Square. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I've got some Logan Square properties for sale already. But I bought these for nine. Five. Oh, that's up X. Okay. Uh, yes, so you're looking for the same deal again. Right, nine three. An eight one mint for nine three. Okay, that's on surface value, that's on a bad bargain. But if I wanted to flip those, so look at eight ones, here's more eight ones down here selling for 10. It's only 700 UP, um, up X more, but I'm not going to make that if I take my 10% off the, the, the 10,009. If I sold it for 10,000, I'm only making nine. I'm not actually covering rebuying them. So if you want to buy those to hold them yourself, that's actually a bargain. But if you want to buy them to flip them, no. I don't see that as a bargain. And that is all the collections in Chicago. We'll show you that. There's Logan Square, the South Shore is usually the the, the, the cheapest. If you scroll, I won't even get there. Yeah. Oh, there's an Eagle. Eagle something I saw there. Eagle Wood. Yeah. Eagle Wood. Probably looking in the 20s. Yeah. So that's Chicago. And that's how you look at also collection properties. So next city, Cleveland. Upix. Uh, let's see what I've got going for Cleveland. There. So, had a quick break. Back. No, oh, Cleveland. Okay. So, I think I'm rambled enough. You, Maybe you get the gist, but this is what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm looking at Cleveland. Look at threes for like, you know, one. Like I'm looking at five, four. You know, and the, the very, you can see it in the first page, seven two to seven nine. If I sold something for eight, going on my ten percent rule, fees, buying and selling. Um, seven two is what you're gonna have to get it for. And you look at it seven two at the basic for two five. So you're not. You know what I mean? It's 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 messy, and as soon as you start scrolling past the first page, it, it gets messy. So, so Cleveland at the moment, no. But I know Cleveland's got a lot of cities. Like if you have a look, um, yeah, there's a lot. You know, there's, there's the Union Miles Park, there's there's Glen Mill, there's Old Brooklyn. There's a lot in um, in Cleveland that that. Um, of uh, like other suburbs, um, it does have a lot of yeah. You know, there's some good opportunities here to like for three dollars, but the USD, you know, the Union Miles Park, and there's Glenville as well. It, it looks sometimes oh, I've been caught before, especially in Cleveland. Uh, it looks very appealing, um, but there's very minimal profit to be made. There is some profit, but very minimal, and it takes a long time. Uh, and because I have been caught, I'm not going to bother going there to, 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 to nitty grit looking for 20 or 30 cents to, to you know, flip for. Uh, but it, it definitely is. If you do that same process that I've been doing, um, per suburb, uh, per collection suburb, collection suburb, um, I need to add, like, if you want to be flipping like that, you want to be looking for collection suburbs, uh, if you look at individual suburbs. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so we moved on to Dallas. Um, the first Arlington was a great example of what I was looking for, but now I'm like, okay, so I'll go in Dallas. Uh, I see some, all my Oak Lawn properties are looking to, to resell. Um, I've got the ever minted those. I've got those um, reflipped them, or bought them uh, very cheaply. When I had an opportunity. Uh, if that's a flip. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to Dallas. Right, so now I'm looking what I can get in Dallas. So we know these three 
almost guaranteed they are in jail. Uh, Bodles, Bodles is very cheap. You know, it's mid price is pretty cheap. Like even if ten, like the next one down here, you got Crypto King selling this for for a thousand dollars more, thousand yapix more, and it's a two thousand. You know, mint pricing, you, you, even if you bought that, you're not going to be able to sell it at a decent price if you make a profit. There's no point, you know? And yeah, and then once you get down to the messiness down here, it starts getting, it starts getting tighter and messier. That's why you want to work in this upper, upper screen. You know what I mean? And if there's nothing in there, then unless it's completing a collection or you really want the property, you don't want to be you don't want to be going any further. And this is what I do. I just chill and it's quite um meditation. Meditation? Is that what, what, what you'd call it? Meditatical? So if you have a look here, this one here for me. All right, last price. I bought this for five. This is a thirteen thousand uh, mint price. So I listed this today. So it would have been last night. Oh, okay. That must be like oh, was that yesterday? Okay, that no, was just the afternoon. And I bought it for five dollars uh, US, probably a week ago. And um, I'm reselling it for five ninety five minus. My so let's say six dollars minus my ten percent that I take into consideration for fees. Um, I'll be selling at five dollars forty, which is a forty cent increase. Yeah. Um, I think at the time it would also help that I think I was completing the Dallas collection. Um, yeah, so it's in there at forty three cent, but obviously, Crypto Fam has uh, decided to wade in and resell these for five 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 ninety, which is undercutting me. Which is um, it's fine. That's that's how he wants to roll. It's obviously a mint price higher than mine. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. I've got others there, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to sit on that. So that's why, you know, what I mean, like, and I'm now gonna have to sit on that. I've got three properties above me that were higher mint prices that are selling for the same or slightly less. So. Yeah, that's Dallas. Uh, Detroit. So Detroit is one place because everything's so cheap. You know, unless something really stands out or you're looking to buy it for a particular reason, I don't spend a lot of time looking at Detroit. Uh, Detroit for USD. Um, there's a, a there's a different uh, system I use for that, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a second. Um, so quickly, Detroit for USD. Like you know, all these three, three, five. These all these guys are in jail. These three for today, obviously, are not. 256 is in jail. 333 is in jail. I know, Sasani, I've um, look at that before. You know I mean? So these three, there are two four. Okay, a two four for four six. No, a two four mint for four, selling it for four six. Uh, that guy is in jail. That guy is in jail. He's obviously not in jail. That's a two five for four eight. Right. So if I even was to buy that, it's I've got to slightly undercut him because the mint price is cheaper. Four eight. Yeah, you know I mean I'm not making I'm not making Yeah, I'm not making anything there. It's you go any lower than that, it's just not worth it. I'm spending a lot more time explaining it than what I would normally I would normally sit here just a couple of clicks and I'm like, yeah, done. A couple of clicks and yeah, done. But I feel like I need to explain it. So Detroit for USD is a different kettle of fish. Yeah. So, floor that the minimum you can sell a property for in Upland is three yeah. dollars. So, if you have a look, yeah, this is the sale price, three dollars. There'll be an entire page of people selling things for three dollars. Yeah, and I can scroll all the way to the bottom. This is two thousand properties. I've got this set to. There's at least two thousand properties there for three dollars. Okay. So if you were to buy something and you try to Flip that as a profit, you're never going to get there. Okay, this is five thousand. This is a mint, five thousand upix. You're selling it for three dollars next to a person with thirteen one thousand three hundred. You know, mint, 
for three dollars and it'll be something else that'll beat that five one eventually in this you know and it's just not it's just not it's not feasible to try and make money but for whatever reason you want to buy that some uh, a cheap property for three dollars you, know? uh, you might want to try to use it for a trade you might want to have a um, uh, like a, a burner, as people would say, to try and trade for, for whatever other reason for something else, whatever it is. Right, this is what I use. So in this same update, so instead of sorting by sale price, you want to sort by mint price, descending, so it would be the highest mint prices. And then if you go here, min max filters, and then max sale price, 3,000, because one US dollar is worth 1,000 UPX or UPX. Right? So everyone that's selling here at three US dollars is actually selling the equivalent of 3,000 UPX. So if you put in here, because it doesn't go in US dollars, it only goes in UPX, 3,000 UPX, it'll only have all the properties that sell at 3,000 or $3. Now 3,000 UPX or $3, then you can sort them by its original mid price. So basically what you're getting is the best bargains at the top. Hmm? And this is something I do specifically for Detroit. So right now, the best bargains going, this guy's selling $3. Like this is selling this property that was mint price at 7,300 UPEX. He's selling at $3, that's a 41% markup. Yeah, so it's actually a loss in, in words for him. but. A best bargain at the moment right now that's actually pretty piss poor because I've seen close to mint prices close to 10,000 upex for three dollars and that's probably um, that's that that's where you want to be looking because if you have a look I think I've actually I bought a couple so I can show you here uh, search by my properties in Detroit I do a lot of flipping in Detroit there's a lot of Properties that had the previous prices were really big. Um, Try to find it. No, maybe it wasn't Detroit. Was it Detroit? I swear it was Detroit. But that's, yeah, that's what I do specifically with Detroit. Right, so we go back to Fresno is the next one. So we want to change that to your UPEX. We want to change it back to sort by sale price. Make go ascending, and you want to get rid of that filter. And now we're on to Fresno. Oh. So far, I've only bought the one. Property. Uh, okay, so have a look here. Like, here we go. Good example to crypto. Uh, mid price of eleven hundred. He's selling it for six thousand seven hundred. Three hundred or three hundred less than the next one, but it's almost the same mid price. Even if I was to list it for seven with my ten percent, would be seven dollars off with six three. Yeah, I'm not making any profit. Have a look down here. All these are all virtually the same ballpark. Fresno is a bit of a lock when it comes to that. It's it's very it's tight. It's tight in Fresno. There's not there's not much uh, it's not much going. You really you really need a shooter to just pop up like a, a two thousand upex mint or a three thousand upex mint. Someone that's looking to clear out whatever them yeah sell it for a reason. Now it's not as bad as Detroit, definitely not as bad as Detroit. You only got a small mix of at floor three thousand now. But hell of a mint price. There's no real shooters there. You know? They're all like anywhere between nine and twelve hundred. You know, you're not you're not making any money there. You get what I mean? Because I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that everyone that goes to buy is looking at the mint price compared to the the current price. So if you were to do that, so this guy is selling at three, and this person above him is also selling at three, but eleven hundred mint, nine hundred mint, 
you know, there's going to be a, a complete difference in the. It's the same. You're paying the same price. What are you going to pay for? Something that's worth more or something that's worth less when you're paying the same. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay. So that was Fresno. Fresno. Kansas City. Now the reason I sometimes look at my properties is if uh, I've been doing it for so long, it it rarely happens now. Uh, but I'm looking for something like I know, you know, okay, Shoal Creek turned to, you know, what I mean, like I'm if some if I can pick up something to flip that's equal to my cheapest in you know, a collection property that I'm holding then I will swap that property and I will hold the new property that I just bought and then sell off my cheapest in the current collection. That's why I keep looking back. Okay, this is uh, Kansas City. There's nine. It's today. It's, okay, here's a good example, possibly. Uh, fun one. <laughs> 101%. So that's just over mid price. Nine four. He's selling it for nine five. So I look down here, nine four, nine sixes, and I know that this guy Shashan is definitely already in jail. Nine four. So I'm looking at another nine four. It's very close there. Uh, ten four. Ten four for ten. Ten four for ten. So that's under. That was this two days ago. Ten four for ten. So even if I was to list that at equal ten. With my 10%, percent i have to take a thousand off. I'd actually be making nine. I wouldn't even be making money. So straight away, I know that I can't. Even though that looks like a bargain, if I was looking to buy to re to resell, I know that I can't resell it under what someone else has already got for a higher value. You know what I mean, and still make money. So I move. Uh, USD. Hmm. One there for three. Raytown. Who's this? Samir. 340 for a 10 3. That's a 33%. That's pretty good, good bargain. But if you scroll down here, there's a 10 3 for 355. 10 1, sorry, a 10 4 for $4. So even if I was to sell it for $4 at my 10%, I have to take 40 percent, 40 cents off, which would be three dollars sixty, which is twenty cents more. So, do I really want to be outlaying three dollars forty for twenty cents? And even then, it's still like he still mints are worth more. So, no. Now, Kansas City, I know Shoal Creek, and I, is it Madison or is that Nashville? Nashville's Madison. So, Kansas City, Shoal Creek is a A collection. No. So I have a look at just Shoal Creek, Shoal Creek specific. Right, and you can do that. You can just same as the oh, choose all the collections. I know that Shoal Creek is a collection neighborhood, so I've just gone in the neighborhood, but I could have also selected it from over here. Mm. Okay, this is, shows now all the Shoal Creek neighborhoods. Sale prices exactly exactly the same as everything else except it's just filtered only Shoal Creek. Um, nothing is massively standing out there. I mean, massive no. Yeah. Nothing so to me, like nothing is massively standing. There. <laughs> All right, Vegas is next. And then I'll look at my Las Vegas properties just as a big reminder because sometimes sometimes I've got things listed for sale as well. Yeah. So here we've got Las Vegas. These are all my Las Vegas properties. I've got one, two, four, six, eight. Uh, I know Rancho Oak is a four. Um, is a four property collection. So they're all my Rancho Oak collection properties that I've that I bought. 
like during the um, not long after mint and the other three which are these three and what I'm holding for the collection and then this one is what I've bought um, to flip no I think I bought yes I bought one, got one of these as, as um, part of the bundle that Upland was selling and then I'm selling off this yeah because that's right yeah. alright so that's why I look at my, have a, a tab open for my city so I know what I've got for sale. So say I'm looking, I'm, and I know I do have a lot of places where I'm in this ballpark. I could see who's trying to undercut me, who's trying to, you know what I mean? I could readjust as I'm doing it. Mm, okay, so I'm looking at it, mid price. Uh, yeah, not, 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 not really selling me. This one here standing out to me originally at 3.1 for 11.5. But then you've got to say here. No, 8.1 for 11.9. You can see he's originally paid three. So he's bought that for three US dollars and now he's signed to show up to 12,000 UPEX, which is um, maybe it's good. Good thing. Uh, but 11.9 for an 8. Like, you have a look at all these pies, they're very tight. There's not a lot to give. Even at 1300 at 10%, you're going to take 1300 off. So at 12, 11, 7, 11, 7, even if I bought that 8, 1, I'm buying 11, 9. Yeah, like, and that to me, I'm scrolling too far already. It's too tight. I'm done. Done with basic Vegas. I'll have a quick look at Vegas USD. Looking for the same thing. Uh, so, um, 450 is sort of listed today, but even 9 4 at 450. Look down here, you got 10 3 at 5. Even I'll sell it at 5, I'm only gonna make 10 percent off. Like that. So I'm gonna make 4 dollars 50, but it's already more. So, mm, done VT. Okay, here's a good example. Right, so, I'm looking here at let's say all these are listed today. 15.7 for five dollars. That's 32 percent. That's that's pretty good. If you're looking to buy into the game, if you want to increase, I, 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 that's a good way to go. For me, I'm looking. Okay, 15. If I had, but my three, I'm holding in mint prices at 79, 72.48, and that's my basic Vegas collection. You know what I mean? It's not. I'm not going to buy that to hold and to, to, to resell my others. So. Um, all right, so we've got Los Angeles. Yeah, I'm doing exactly the same thing. Pretty sure Los Angeles I've got. As per um, the stats that come with this, uh, UPX land. Uh, there's obviously McGrath city chart is also cool. So it's city chart will show you all the, um, the cities and how many you hover over it, how many properties you've got in each. Um, Detroit's top 27. Detroit and Las Vegas, Los Angeles have always been flipping back and forth. But Detroit with 27, Los Angeles with 22, uh, Rio with 16. Um, and it just, just so happens Los Angeles for the 22, I just happened to have, I think at the time I was selling off a lot of properties, um, and I just happened to have 200,000 UPEX or UPX in my account at the time, and they announced Los Angeles was happening in a couple of days, or whatever it was. I was like, wow, I've actually got, I had the most amount of liquid, you know, available cash in my account at the time, 200,000. And um, and yeah, I just went to town. I just bought bought everything I could. So I minted minted a lot and um, a lot of places. That's uh, not that's not my account. A lot of places. And I was like, yeah, Hollywood Hills, Venice, Echo Park, um, 
the Studio City, Sherman Oaks, you know, I had, um, yeah, I had to mention quite a bit. Uh, got nothing for sale at the moment in LA. But if something was to come up, um, then I would. But uh, let's have a guess. Uh, two, five, 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 six, five. Yeah, it's like it's it's messy. Vegas can be messy. Like Los Angeles, sorry, can be messy. This here catches my eye. All right. So these two are eight seven eight seven, uh, selling for seven six seven six at eighty seven percent. So that's um, if you have a look along here. Mm. There's an 8.7 down here for 7.8 though, so I haven't said that. There's a 9 for 8. So even though they're, they're, they're pretty good deals if you were buying it just to hold it or to collect, you know, to make a collection, to, to buy to resell, it's that's not actually uh, worth it. Now we'll have a quick look at Los Angeles USD, but Los Angeles USD is another one, that, same as Detroit. Uh, well, Detroit, I've got my own inverted kind of thing, but for this, it's messy because the the price is just uh, all over the shop. Like if there's nothing, there's no block. You know, like sometimes we say when I said before, it's a brick because they're all the same prices. They're all trying to, they're all the same mints, all the same. If you have one shooter that's super cheaper, it's easier to notice. This is a little bit, you know, it's, it goes a bit deeper. Like, you got to hear an 8.8 for $3.16. But then you got a 10 for $3.35. Like, even if you were to try to uncut this guy at $3.30, you're still going to make 10% rule under $3. You're, like, you're not going to make money. You're just not going to make money. You're just not going to make money. Um, the only place to possibly, you know, to look at this, okay, this guy here at the bottom, Sherman Oaks. I know that is, we know, that is a collection property. Yeah, Sherman Oaks. So if we go all collections up here again, select all of them. But then, of course, that's also going to be all LA properties, which we don't necessarily want because all LA is other collections. So we just want specific collections. And then we have a look at that. Okay. So if that Sherman Oaks to be dead lowest um, does ring a little bell for me. Okay, and now we can see why. Right, so we're looking specifically at Sherman Oaks. This person, $3, which is floor, which is the lowest you can list it for. Whatever his name is. All right. He's selling that for $3, but it's $8,000. This one here, mint of 11.7, is selling it for four. So, like, really? Like, if someone was going to try to undercut that or list it at four as well, you got you got all these at the same price. Even if you went at, let's say, $3.50, halfway in between, you've got to take 35 cents off for fees. Then you're looking at, what, 15 cents for a $3 outlay. It's just not worth it. Yeah. So that's that. Now, there is a few suburbs in this list that I don't, for me, at my level, I don't even bother looking at. Manhattan is the first one of them. Only because the initial outlay is so much. So we'll have a quick look. But uh, normally, currently, I don't even bother looking at Manhattan when I do this, um, when I do this, 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 this troll, this search, uh, and we'll see why, I think it's like 60,000 or something, yeah, six, there you go, 69,000 is the, 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 the cheapest, and you can see by my account here at the moment, I've got like 40,000, 40,000 liquid funds at the moment, um, but if you did have enough, or you wanted to enter enough, it's exactly the same deal. You're just looking for a bargain. Um, you're looking for, obviously, all these are New Yorkers. Oh, it's Harlem. Who's that? That's actually Harlem. You know, so you want to filter and, and what you could do up here by, by, by suburb and see what you can make, make money on. 
but me. Um, uh, Manhattan, um, Santa Clara, South Lake Tahoe, uh, London, London for a different reason. Bermuda, I don't even bother with either. Okay, but but yeah, I don't um, usually bother. With All right, we'll go Miami. My properties in Miami. I don't think I have a lot of for sale in Miami. It's all um, his little Havana. Yep, yeah, his little Havana. Um, I think because I bought most of those, I'm just looking to make to make a little bit, a little bit on them. But the rest of them is is pretty locked in. Unless something um, unless something better comes along. I'm not. Um, not looking to to, to to move my my my, my basic uh, my base properties, but I'm looking here exactly the same same deal. What's mint? What are they selling it for? Can I make a profit? And look at that. To me, that looks like a lock. You've got a ten seven and a ten four down here. A ten seven ten four is by fourteen nine, but ten seven. 15.8 is the next one. So even if I was to undercut him or sell it the same for 15.8, I'm going to make, take off 10%, which is what? 1,580, which is 14,000. I mean, I'm actually not making a loss. Hmm. I'm actually making a loss of maybe. Uh, natural. Hmm. Uh, Nashville. Uh, the Giza. Uh, Nashville, straight away. Yeah, this one here is called my 2 2. It's right at the top. It's underneath. It's listed today. Uh, and I scroll down the thing. But here's one for fun. And I know this I Jabam, 431 days, is in jail. So that. Isn't purchasable anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm also looking here. Yeah, two one for nine. Oh, look who it is. This guy. That's me. So I bought that for seven thousand. I'm looking to sell it for nine thousand. Yeah. Um, I've just undercut this little guy here. But this one here is also available. And now I think. Now I said that. I think I bought this one from Easy Q. The only reason I say that is, yeah, I did. I bought it for four five. Now I'm selling it for six nine. Okay. What? That can't be right. I'm not. Uh, no, that's not right. He bought it for four five. What? I bought it for six nine. He bought it for four five. I bought it for six nine, right? Okay. Now I'm looking over here. At this easy Q. Right? Now if I buy it again and sell it again, so easy Q's bought it for seven dollars in 2022. Sixth of January 2022. This dude's bought this for seven dollars, and now he's looking to offload it. For the almost equivalent in EPX. Now, I'm almost to, to buy that. Now, Nashville. See, and now I found something else. And this is this is what you're looking for. This I'm looking to find, and I may have found something. So uh, now, now you need three properties for Priest Lake. You need three properties for Madison. I'm pretty sure I have. I need one more property to com like recomplete. Um, Nashville basic. So I go to my collections. So not only there's a secondary thing that I just gonna. Um, not only am I looking at hey, can I make a little bit on this, but also as a. Um, Confirmatory. 
can will it complete a collection um, or recomplete? So obviously in Nashville, I have completed it previously. Um, I know I've got this Moore Street that's kicking around, which is the other one I bought off the same guy last night. Uh, um, and now it's there again. So on top of that, a secondary thing, um, or a third thing, like my, one of the other things that it's a consideration, obviously I've got this property down here that I've bought off him already for a slightly cheaper mint price, bought for the same price, and I'm trying to sell it at eight, nine. If someone comes, say you, you at home, come to this page, and you're looking just to buy a property because you want to sit on it, you're looking at what's the best value, Boom, he's obviously the best value. I'm selling the next highest mint value, but I'm selling it at 2,000 up, it's more. Of course, you're going to go for this guy. Yeah. And now, the next thing I also look at, I'm like, okay, as I've seen before, users will, when it comes to the mints, as years gone by, people get um, into suburbs and then they mint out. A lot of properties in the same suburb. You know what I mean? They're, they're not they're not considered what is potentially going to be a collection property. They're an outer suburb, and they just happen to be there, and they mint like 20, 30, 40 properties in this same suburb and sit on them. Is this guy done the same thing? Is he just now because you have a look? It's in southeast, South Nashville. Nashville okay, it's a different suburb. But how many? If I buy this one of him, is he just going to list another one? Like, at the same price, so I'm trying to buy this now to try and bring it down to my price and my, um, you know, what I mean, blind. You know, if you're playing poker, it's like, what are they going to call? You know, what I mean, am I going to bring it down to here? But is he just going to list another one at six ninety nine follow up for another two three or something? You know? So you click on his name. You click on his name. It'll open up. Oh, there we go. It'll bring to the tab. So here's easy Q. Uh, he owns eleven hundred properties. And if you've got the city chart, you can see exactly how many he owns. Oh god, it's shooting itself. So we can see exactly how many properties he has in that city. Uh, let's see who was it? Okay. Oh, oh, shit. Was that shot? Must have been, yeah, it was that shot. Uh, Alright, is he cute? So instead of, sorry, clicking on his name, because that takes away away if you right click on opening a link in your tab and then that will open his name we can see exactly how many Nashville properties this easy cue with Little Dragon has um, this is just a second thing like it has happened to me before where I've bought what I thought was three properties to be able to flip to make a little bit of a profit and then that person then just list another three because they're sitting on like a thousand or a hundred properties that they've bought in that 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 neighborhood. Um, while the three I bought might have completed my collection, I'm not going to be able to flip those to make a profit because that person's just going to list another three at the original cheaper price, and then perpetually going to keep doing that until um, you know I mean those hundred have sold. Yeah, so yeah, so it's it's something. Uh, something I've learned to, to, to have a bit of a look at. It's just, just consideration as well. Unless you're going to be willing to, once you've bought them, have to hold them. And it's something. Uh, laptop is... Uh, I'm really thinking about this. Uh, here we go. So this is uh, EasyQ's account. 
let's see his, um, his little city chart that's got going on there and this is everything he owns in Nashville which is 28 properties uh, so what I'm more concerned with is uh, 2,000 mints mints for 2,000 he's going to try to relist again and you can see by the mm, uh, 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 that's what he's currently got with so he's got a few he's got a he does have a few more that he probably list again four five sixes so I've already bought one of him he's just is he just gonna keep keep listing them you know what I mean because all I'm really making on the one that I've already done for nine so if I'm selling that for nine thousand I'm making eight one I'm making just over a thousand upics mm. no nope. and this is this is where we need to this is where things can we do it like I've already got three Priest Lake, three Madisons. I'm pretty sure I need one more property, one more Nashville property, um, to be able to complete just the Nashville basics. So with that in mind, thinking that he's he's gonna run out of properties eventually. <laughs> and I don't mind if I have to hold it. You know what I mean? I need one more from a Nashville basic as it is. Um I have got the money there, I might as well use it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this one and then flip it for resell it for just under nine. Eight nine nine eight. So click on it, copy it, go to my uh, and paste it. Go find it. Oof. Okay. Which one is it? Oh, is that one easy key? Huh? Hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> right. I'm gonna buy this one. Easy key is probably sitting there going, "Oh, this guy keeps buying it." But I've bought this one now, um, and it'll complete my natural basic collection, which means. All my national properties will increase. Um, knowing full well that he's probably going to relist another one of those. Uh, I'm assuming. But that's 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 Nashville. Yeah. Right. New Orleans. Mm. Yes, yeah, so now we're just going through exactly the same process. Well, same process. That's what I'm doing. So when people say, oh yes, wanna you know buy, buy, sell, flip, do whatever, um, it's not yeah, you could just randomly try to find something, but BPX land dot me. Um Really has uh, a lot of the, the, the tools that are going to help you. Huh. No, look at that same deal. It's 6 7 from today, 3 7 though, but yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah look at that mid price to um, New Orleans is a lately has been very, I would say, choppy. Choppy. Anyway. I don't want to see anything there that's going to sign me out. Um, I'll have a quick look, sorry, we'll have a look at USD as well. Have a quick look at USD. Uh, I was looking at New Orleans on my account. New Orleans for USD, so it's hit the, the, the 
few properties here for the base. On there, 8143, listed today, 37%. That is. That's catchy. That's catchy. Considering after you get past the three dollars, three eighty is the next. So even if you were to list at three eighty and pay ten percent, ten percent is thirty eight cents. Yeah. So three dollars eighty minus eight cents, three forty. Yeah. So you're still making forty two cents. An eight one. Let's have a look at the next eight one down the list. Any close to eight one. Eight six at four. Hmm. So that being a low. Eight six at four is only a dollar difference between that and that. It's five hundred dollars more. I don't know. That's. Uh, mm, yeah, uh, that's and then that is should be the difference when you 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 look at list there and when it's like yeah that that's a bargain when you're going yep yeah, that's a bargain straight away if you're going uh, I don't know, which is what I'm exactly doing now then um then no <laughs> then you probably shouldn't be doing it because it's it's. It's it's either a too much of a risk or b you 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 got to find the right amount of slots you can fill. You only got no, you only got twenty slots you can fill. Um, so if you have to if you have to maybe contemplating in your area, oh maybe if you go maybe maybe it's not gonna maybe we'll fill a twenty twenty slots really quickly, and that's not much more. <laughs> Stuck in his EQ. Um, right. Get rid of his EQ's account. We don't worry about him anymore. This is my account. It's looking a lot more healthy. A lot more spread. Uh, where were we? We were in New Orleans. Yep. And I'm looking just. I'm looking now just to see what I've got in New Orleans. Because I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of cities that I'm selling for. Okay, everything I'm selling. I'm selling for UPX. Uh, low on the ninth board, which was the suburb, which is a bit of a lock from memory, and I'm just I'm content with just holding on to those for the for the for the, um, for the revenue, really. Uh, suburb mid city. Uh, okay. What about there's two mid cities? Okay. Four seven four nine. My mid cities are. Sixes, okay. Mm. Yeah, eight one. The New Orleans. I've got more than that anyway, and more value there because I traded that one. Yeah, so New Orleans. Yeah, and doing it for me. Yeah, and that's why this is. I'm sitting and go for each city. Right, Oakland's a bit of a weird one because it's got Oakland. Um, it's when it comes to upland, uh, UPX dot UPX land dot me. Um, the searchable city. Is Oakland, but it includes Oakland, Berkeley, and Alameda. Alameda is that how you say it? Um, so when it comes to your uh, account, no, that doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to keep going for it. <sighs> Oakland looks like a lock. What I want, yeah, this is a classic lock. Two fives, two eights, two sevens, three twos. 
like all very similar numbers of a couple of threes here that stand out but you have a look at the difference between the two okay so one thing that does stand out this guy imbuster imbuster has listed this at six nine and the next one's seven nine so even if let's say i was to buy it and resell it at eight Go and take into consideration my 10% overcompensating fees. If I sold it for eight, $800 would be fees, so I'm actually only making seven too. So even if I was to buy this at seven and then resell it at eight, I'm only getting back seven too. I'm only making 200 UPX. And he's a two five mint, two eight mint, two seven mint, three two mint. Both in pasta. Mm. Oh, you'd have to buy both of these. And then this one for eight. So for eight, 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 take the fees off for 10%, make the money back. You know what I mean? Like you'd be buying two just to, and it just gets messy. And when you look about it, you're spending then, what, if you were to buy both of these to try and resell it at the same price to, to break even, just to be able to resell this one to make 200 you're spending two eights of 16, 17,000 UPX to make 200 Yeah, it's, that's, it's not worth it. Hmm. Right, we'll have a look at the USD. Uh, yeah, so this is how I go about. And so so far, I've bought two what, two properties. Uh, USD. Uh, I want to tell you, look at oh, bottom here, off the off the bat. I mean, uh, baby, I've had a look at this one before. The Jazz. Uh, 96 last price 58 like that'd be worth a trade why he bought that for 58 is now selling it for three dollars don't know but nine six you know down here looking at 12s and yeah, 12s mint price this is today by wolf one wolf and bunny's creed all right so you've got 12 and eights and tens for like that's that. It starts at four dollars fifty. So here, if I was to sell, buy this, three dollars. I mean, if I sold it for four, and then resold it for four, I'd have to take off ten percent of four dollars and forty cents. I make sixty cents. I make sixty. I make sixty cents. All right. I'm actually, I've just talked myself into it, I think. I don't mind that. No. Let's have a look here. Uh, so all these are part of the ones for sale. All these by South Berkeley. Uh, but I paid, man, back in the day, I paid a lot more than that. Hmm. That's not a bad deal. But it's only 50 cent more. So much more. I've been burnt. Like I've been caught with Oakland before. So I'm just not going to bother. Okay. I'm just going to roll on. I'm just going to roll on. And that's my thought process. when I, As I'm going through this stuff. I'm like. Ah, yeah. So, so far I've bought two properties. I actually really list that one. I have not. Pretty sure that was eight triple nine, right? In Nashville. Oh, I'm looking at Queens. Let me just get back to Nashville. Super quick. Mm. 
<laughs> Come on. Pretty sure it was eight. Trip nine. I want the list of four. Okay, move jam was out. Yeah, eight nine nine eight. Eight nine nine eight. So I was going to sell this one now. Mm, sell. Mm, UPX. Eight nine nine eight. Okay. Oh, uh, anyway. I'm um, just rambling on now. I'm just, yeah, going from emotions. So that's what I do from um, city to city. Just go through. I'm looking for those ones that are shooters, those ones that you can actually make money from. You've got to take into consideration the fees. Uh, you've got to take into consideration the, 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 the market and what other properties are going for. So, um, yeah. All right. Thanks. That's what I do.